Morning guys, welcome back to the JBB Channel Brown on Wednesday. Um, today's just a quick. Today's going to be a quick one, guys, because I've got, I've got much to, I haven't got much. I got much to say today, really. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, like I normally do. Um, keep adding my channel and keep boosting it, guys. Please, please, please. Uh, add me on Facebook, add me on um, Instagram, add me on TikTok, just add me on whatever you, whatever you can guys, whatever you want to add me on. Um, the car show is coming up soon but I haven't got any dates yet guys. Um, I was talking to someone today and they, and they keep saying about the second corona coming. so. I'm gonna watch out for that, guys. He's gonna, it's coming. He's gonna hit here soon. Um, I know it's in Birmingham at the moment, so it will be here. It will be here. But just don't, don't worry, people. When lockdown does start, just think. I'll be doing videos. So try and get me up to 100 subscribers in the next couple of weeks, guys, because there will be some challenges coming on here, and I will be doing challenges with you a lot as well. So. Put in the comments today what kind of challenges you want to do and put them in there and then I'll sit down and I'll decide what to do. So, and today everybody put, I had a comment today of somebody saying what football team do you hate? I hate a lot of teams guys so I can't just say one team who I do hate, so please put in the comments today who you support for me, if you can. And, um, like I say, there will be a meet-up one day soon, but if the second corona comes in, guys, you've got no chance. I'm going to wait till corona's gone, and then we can do it again, we can, we can meet up, and I can meet the people who follow my channel and that lot, so... Um, so thank you for all the subscribers so like I say put in the comments what kind of challenges we should do on this channel we should do because there's a lot of people who tell me different challenges so <clears throat> please put more on here for me because what one of my mates says to me why don't I do an American chocolate one I don't know I don't know but you can think of any ones what are good guys. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below, in the corner down there, guys. What you what what you what you thinking? Um, do a few shout outs. Um, Paddy Power, thank you for adding my channel, um, and all your mates as well, because I know that all your mates follow my channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I can't name you all, but thank you. Um, found my parents, mom, dad, uh, found my brother, uh, cousins, friends, <coughs> and um, please go and keep subscribing to Hayley's channel, Carrie's channel, uh, my other channel, what I've got, DJB and Carrie's channel, please go and add that one, guys. I'll put it on Instagram in a bit, so go and add that channel as well. And when you go out, please wash your hands like you're doing, because I've seen someone today in Litchfield, and he makes me laugh, man, right? And he can't wash his hands properly, so I think it's time. I think it's time that I'll give you a demonstration, because some people don't understand how you're meant to wash your hands. So get your hands, so put the hot... Put the hot water tap on first, then you get your, you get your soap like that, rub it in your hands, rub it on the back, like so, all over, yeah, and then you sing happy birthday twice, I'm not going to actually sing happy birthday to you, but just think about it, so that's one time. And that's two times, now what you do then is you dry your hands off, 
so I just dry your hands off. Oh, so, so that's that's how you're meant to wash your hands and then dry them basically, guys. Well, I've seen this guy today in Lichfern, it's hilarious. He turned the tap on, turned the tap on, put his hands under, put his hands out, and he, he thought he washed his hands, but no soap on or nothing, right? I'm not going to tell you where I was in Litchfield when this happened, but it made me, made me, made me smile, God. I went to the low, and I come out, I was just about to wash my hands, and I was washing my hands. This guy came by the side of me to wash his hands as well. And he just turned the tap on, put his hands under. No, but no soap in or nothing, yeah. He turned the tap on and put his hands underneath the hand dryer. To me, that's just... It's just ridiculous. And if you are watching this channel, mate, you need to learn how to wash your hands properly, because... That's disgusting how you washed your hands. You're meant to wash your hands properly, guys. You're meant to wash them. We've got coroners around as well. And you, when you do wash your hands, you're meant to put some, you sanitizer in it as well. The ones you can get from, uh, you can get from Superdrug, or you can get from Body Care. You can get them from anywhere, guys. B&M. Masks, if you need masks, go to B&M. Or if not, uh, there's a guy who does a market store in the middle of town as well. In the middle of Litchfield, and he sells them as well. I think it's like five pound for three masks or something, guys. So go there and get masks off him as well. Um, one of the shout outs today is I don't know him personally, but he's a nice, he's an, he, he seems like a nice lad. Uh, he's got, he's one of the guys who s sits on the streets and he's got, he's got grey hair and he's got a goatee. What goes round, and he's really, really friendly. So when you're in town, guys, please talk to him because he's a nice. He's, he seems like a nice bloke, and there's another, there's another bloke as well who's got black hair as well who sits on a who sits on a. Um, what does he sit on, Ant? Um, Is it a basket? Basket. Yeah, he sits on a metal food basket and he's usually sitting outside. He sits outside B&M. He's outside McDonald's. And uh, there's another one as well who sleeps on his way. Tom as well. Tom, the one who's got the one leg. He, he's on the street. So any of you see these homeless guys, people, just think it must be sad from living on the streets. It must be sad. It must be horrible. It must be horrible. I've seen... About two weeks ago, um, I stopped at Ants and I was walking back to, into Litchfield and I walked down the back by the back of McDonald's, the, the back of it, and there was a tramp sleeping on the street and there was kids kicking him. It ain't funny, guys, it ain't funny. He can't help being on the streets. He probably might have had a tough life or something. So in future, just show some respect to them, guys. Please give show them some, some respect because... I always do. The guy who's got the grey, grey beard and the grey hair, I always walk past him and say hello to him and he'll go, he'll put his thumbs up to me. And the other guy I spoke to him today, I was in town with my mum today, and he, come to, he, he spoke to me as well, and he's a nice bloke, so when you do see him, try and give him some respect, and don't and people, whoever you are, who are kicking him, leave him alone. You wouldn't like it if you were homeless and you were getting kicked, would you? So show some respect, people, please. Um, and that's it for today guys that's all I can say and please keep subscribing to my channel if you are new go back and watch my old videos and come back to the new one anybody's welcome on my channel anybody anybody and all I can say is thank you to all my subscribers guys and I want to thank the kids today I won't mention your name on there, the kid who did a portrait of me and Carrie, man. You, seriously, it's, it's good. It's good, mate. Thank you very much. And can you do me another one? Seriously, that was really good. So, thank you to you, and thank you to everybody who watches my channel. And when that lad said to me yesterday, you're the best YouTuber in Litchfield, if I'm the best YouTuber in Litchfield, people, get me higher. Put the word out there, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, do a TikTok with my picture, get me the subscribers guys, please, thank you, and good night. <clears throat>